But first tonight, we are getting a new look at the shooting last month outside North Kansas City High School. Now you may remember it happened at the end of a basketball game on a Saturday night. Police say an argument led to shots being fired by five people. Two people were hurt. Now I put in a public records request for the school surveillance video to better understand what happened that day. And today we actually got that video you requested, Cameron, and I was able to pour through multiple angles. Not only did it help to visualize some of the details that we previously only knew from court records, it also made it abundantly clear how fast this happened and the resulting chaos and panic it caused. Following a March 2nd basketball game between Staley and North Kansas City High Schools, you can see people leaving the school at a leisurely pace. Among the crowd, families with young children. Then, the mood suddenly changes as people start to scatter, including a woman pushing a stroller. It's a similar scene just inside the school as people run for cover, including a man carrying a child who gets to the ground, calling another child to his side. None of the video North Kansas City High School provided has audio, save for this intercom camera that captures not only the gunshots, but the confusion and fear of the crowd. It was only two seconds, but long enough for multiple shots to be fired. There's a pause, then more shots ring out. The fear from those both inside and outside the school is palpable, perhaps elevated due to how quickly the violence erupted. This camera angle outside the field house shows just how fast it happened. A group of boys is seen leaving, walking near the concession stands outside. One in a black hooded sweatshirt looks back over his shoulder a couple times before turning around, raising his arm and firing. If you slow down the video or freeze it, you can even see the muzzle flash. Immediately, two boys in a group behind him appear to also pull out guns, one in a dark colored jacket, the other in a light colored sweatshirt, and you can see the flash of at least one of those weapons returning fire. The fight then spills into the parking lot as both groups of boys run away. But if you pay attention to the upper left corner of this video, you see one young man run across the road into the grass across the street. If you slow this down, you can see them both raise their arms, again appearing to fire at one another, before one crumbles to the ground. You know, watching all that video today, it is truly amazing more people weren't hurt and no one died. At last check, more charges were possible as the investigation was ongoing. We know two brothers were charged in the shooting, 19-year-old Michael Smallwood and 18-year-old Lavandre Smallwood. They face first-degree assault charges. The Clay County prosecutor again says more than 50 bullets were fired by five different shooters who all had weapons inside that high school.